Hey, Matt. Yeah? I'm hungry. Okay, where are we going? What about... No. No, 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 no. Okay. Gather the horses. Bring the battering rams. Call forth the ladders. Summon my dragon. We are storming the castle of White. So we're going to White Castle. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. Let's go to White Castle. Woohoo! About 11 o'clock and uh, traffic's not amazing right now. Apparently there was a really bad accident that was here while well, Matt was on his way to come get me. But they have cleared it up, so that's good. But the traffic is still kind of heavy. So hopefully it won't be as bad going towards White Castle, but we'll find out. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the world's largest White Castle. Oh, the queue's not even fully full. Sweet. So we're gonna be heading over get ourselves some slides. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go. Here's another look at White Castle as we are driving up. It actually did not look bad in terms of like waiting in the queue. So we might get through a little bit quicker than we thought. The drive through line looks pretty terrible, but I think we'll be able to get in in terms of parking pretty quickly. So I'm excited. I'm ready to try some White Castle. Let's do it. And here is the entrance to the White Castle queue. It doesn't look that bad, honestly. So I know on opening day, like this whole queue was completely full. All the switchbacks were full. It was nuts. Today, we can basically walk through most of these switchbacks without having to worry. There's a little bit in this last tent, but it does not look bad at all. So, I think we're gonna be good. Should be a good time. Get through a little bit quickly. Okay, they said 90, 90 minutes is what they're saying. So, that's not bad. I think we'll manage. All right. It's time for the waiting in line for White Castle experience. Let's do it. So, fun fact, while we're waiting in line, uh, this is Matt and I's first time ever at a White Castle. We've never been here before. I've had the opportunity, I could have gone to one in Vegas, I just never did. So this is the first time and it's in Florida, which is cool. And you've yep. never been either? Nope. Did they have them in New York when you were there? Uh, not in the Syracuse area, I just don't know if they did. They might okay. have had them elsewhere. Fair enough. Alright, so we're gonna yeah have our first ever White Castle experience here at the new location in Orlando at the world's largest one. So. Pretty excited, should be a good time. We've progressed a fair amount since we got in line. We still got a couple switchbacks left and then we actually get to go in the restaurant. We're progressing, we're moving there. While we were waiting, I snagged a cool pair of White Castle sunglasses. They have White Castle Orlando on them and Coca-Cola. I think these were given out for the grand opening, but we still had a few pairs, so I snagged one. Pretty cool little knickknack to document our time here at White Castle on opening week. There we go, now I'm looking looking fly in my cool White Castle shades. Not really, but you know. I also didn't have any sunglasses, so these are the first pair I've had in a while, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, we're in the last switchback before, well, the second to last switchback, I guess. Uh, but we're making good progress. It hasn't been that bad, and we've been slowly but surely moving the whole time, so. No complaints so far. We're making progress. So hopefully not too, too long. We'll get ourselves some sliders. Should be a good time. So update, we are in the final home stretch, we think. Uh, this is the final part of the switchback. The entrance is right there, so we're not far from the end. They say it should be an hour. I think it'll be less than an hour. But we're getting there, and as you can see, the line has expanded quite a bit. It's a lot farther back than it used to be. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, I think we're, we're making good progress. Almost time to eat, finally. Matt, you ready to eat? <laughs> You've been ready to eat for a while, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be good. So, almost there.
Okay, we've officially made it underneath the awning right outside the entrance to White Castle. So now we're just waiting for more room to appear in the restaurant. And then we get to go in finally. We're so close. Almost taste the sliders. It's been a long time coming. I'm ready for this. So hopefully not too, too much longer. We have made it inside the restaurant. Finally, here's the seating area. There's the menu. There's the freestyle machine and some merchandise. And of course, behind us, we have the outdoor patio area, which is probably where we're gonna sit because nobody's out there. So probably a good place to go. We're so close. Oh, so very close. I'm ready for this. Shout out to all the White Castle employees working so hard to meet the crazy demand out there. These guys are awesome. Props. Cooking up all those sliders. Insane. But yeah, just wanted to give them a shout out on this video. All right, so we have finally ordered. Matt and I each got a whole bunch of sandwiches. I think between the two of us, we got almost everything on the menu. So we're gonna do a review of all that once we get it. But for now, I'm gonna try their exclusive Coke Freestyle drink. It's called Craver Party Punch. I don't know what it is. It didn't say what it was. I'm gonna try it for you. Bottoms up. It's very sweet. It kind of reminds me of like fruit punch mixed with vanilla, which sounds weird in concept, but it was not bad. So I do enjoy this. I will tell you though, it is very sweet. So if you're not a huge fan of particularly sweet beverages, you're probably not gonna enjoy this. I like it though, I think it's good. All right, so Matt finally got his food. So we're gonna start documenting while I wait for mine. So what are you trying first, Matt? The bacon slider. The bacon cheddar slider, go for it. Nice moist meat. Bacon's not too heavy. It actually gives it a nice fluffy texture. And very crisp bacon added to it. Very good. So would you think that's better than like a crystal burger? Actually, just because the bread, you got crystals, gives it like a little bit too much bread. Yeah, it's a little overly fluffy, I think. And here we have Chris's load. <laughs> yes, quite a haul, I'd say. So we got a whole bunch of different side dishes, uh, as well as a bunch of sliders. I got a few things that Matt did not get. So I'm gonna start with one of the most intriguing. This is the 1921 slider. Now what's cool about this is, this is how they originally prepared sliders here at White Castle 100 years ago. Uh, and so it's apparently it's a different like style of beef. I'm excited to try it. So I figured it makes sense to try our first White Castle experience by trying the one that started it all. So I'm gonna try out the 1921, bottoms up. That's solid. It definitely tastes more substantial than a usual slider. I think mostly because it's, it's a pretty thick patty when it comes to a, a small burger. Definitely thicker than like a crystal burger or it looks like most of the rest of the sliders are. This is really good. And what's cool about this one is this, this particular slider is exclusive to a, only a couple White Castle locations and Orlando is one of them. So if you want to try the slider, you got to come to Orlando and try it. All right, so what's next? The double slider. Double slider, double cheese slider. Big old pickle right there. Mm -hmm. That's gooey cheese, moist meat, and the bread definitely is very good with that. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna dive into more sliders. I got a whole bunch of different ones. So since I already tried the 1921, let's try a classic cheese slider. So, very similar to a crystal burger. It's very thin beef. I will say though, I do agree with people that say that this is better because I do think it is better. The beef has more flavor to it. I like the bun better. Like Matt said, I think it's a little less spongy. Like I could definitely eat a lot of these because they're, they're quite solid. All right, so next you're trying the chicken, chicken and waffle slider. I'm excited about that one. 
nice fluffy waffle. Yeah, it's a good crispy bacon. And the chicken is nicely moist, so it's not too dry. Excellent. Uh, next, we're gonna go with the chicken and waffle slider. This looks interesting. Let's try that out. The waffle is a little bit, it's nice and flaky. It's a little denser than I probably would have liked for this type of sandwich. Again, I think it needs a little more like flavor or seasoning. I expected the waffle to be more like syrupy, kind of like a McGriddle. It's not quite that much. It's it, it's there, but it's like very subtle. It's a pretty solid breakfast sandwich. I, I do enjoy it. Next up, chicken slider. Chicken slider. Good hints of cheddar cheese melted on top of the moist chicken. And the bread is a good like textural difference for everything. Okay. Next we'll go with the classic crispy chicken slider. It's got cheese and a chicken patty on it. Let's try this bad boy out. A little bland for me. I wish it had some kind of sauce or a little more seasoning on it. Chicken's well cooked. It's crispy. Uh, and the cheese is nice. But I think you could use something a little extra just to give it a little little pop. Got one more slider left, it looks like. The breakfast slider. Ah, yes, the breakfast slider. Oh, that's the waffle, the waffle breakfast slider. Yeah. Okay. You got it with sausage, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Again, a nice fluffy waffle. Sausage has a nice flavor to it. Overall, not bad. So, of the sliders, which one was your favorite? I have to go with the double cheese slider. Double cheese. Strong recommendation. Next one is the breakfast slider. Oh, apparently mine has, I guess I got it with bacon and sausage. That's cool. So it's got a fresh egg, cheese, bacon, and sausage on it. Let's try that out. Really good. The sausage has a nice flavor to it. A little bit of a bite. It's creamy. The egg is well cooked. The bacon's a little softer on this. I think they they, they intentionally put the crispier bacon on things that need it more. It's a little softer on this, but I mean, considering how small this thing is, it packs quite a punch. So a very solid breakfast item. Last in uh, sandwich realm, we have the waffle breakfast sandwich. So it's the same as the breakfast sandwich I had earlier, except this one's just sausage. And it's got eggs and cheese. The cheese matters a lot. The cheese really adds a creaminess to it. This one was kind of on the drier side, the, the chicken and waffles. But if you add the cheese and the egg, it works well. And the sausage is as good as it was. So I would say of my sandwiches, I think I like this one the most, the breakfast one with the waffle. I thought that was really, really good. I would say second is definitely the, the 1912 or 1920 one. That one's really good because I like the differences in the beef, although the regular slider is also good. There's none that I particularly disliked, although I do wish the crispy chicken, honestly, both the chicken ones need just a little more flavor. I think they'd be a little better. So we got some side dishes as well. So what are you gonna try first? The fry, regular fry. Pickle cut, solid choice. And that's a fluffy on the inside. Okay. A little wimpy, but not too bad. All right, we're gonna go into side world now. So I've got some fries. Uh, here's the regular fries, bottoms up. Those are solid. Definitely better than a lot of fast food fries. I wouldn't necessarily put them in like the upper echelon, but definitely better than most. All right, so now you're gonna try a mozzarella stick. Using seasoning on the breading. Got a little stretch there when I would bit into it, so. A little cheese pull. Yeah, not bad. Good. All right, now it's my turn for the mozzarella stick. Bottoms up. Solid cheese pull. 
Honestly, a lot more flavor than you normally expect from like a fast food mozzarella stick. You can tell there's some seasoning on here. So really, really good. All right, and next we're gonna do the loaded fries with cheese, bacon, and ranch. That just sounds good. Nice nacho cheese kind of flavor. Crispy bacon, cool ranch. Solid choice. Awesome. All right, so now it's my time to try the loaded fries. I'm gonna do it with a fork this time because we didn't have forks when Matt tried his. Let's try a little bunch. Here we go. Those are solid. Fries are <coughs> nice and fluffy. The bacon is crisp, which is a common complaint when it comes to fast food bacon. Usually it's not crisp. This is nice and crisp bacon, which I prefer. Cheese is good. Solid loaded fry. Excellent job. Now we're gonna try some breakfast sides that go with hash browns. So these look very much like Burger King hash browns. But hopefully they're better. Let's find out. I was gonna say Chick-fil-A hash browns. That too. They taste kind of burnt. I think they might have overcooked these a little bit. They're not my favorite. Definitely would say Burger King and Chick-fil-A have much better hash browns than these. All right, so let's start with the hash browns. They're a little overdone, but they're not too bad. Then we have nice, solid potato flavor to them. Now we're gonna go for a fun one, onion chips, which most fast food places do not have this. Essentially looks like, an, uh, like a like Bloomin' Onion style petal. Sounds good to me, let's try it. Those are solid. If you like onion rings and like Bloomin' Onions, you'll definitely like these. I could honestly say sticking one of these on a cheese slider would be very good. I think that would give it a nice texture element to it and a nice extra flavor. So. As a, as a hack for you White Castle aficionados, I would say get an order of onion chips, stick one of these in your cheese slider. I bet that'd be really good. Onion chips. Nice flavor with the breading. This is just your standard onion ring in just a chip form instead of a ring. Next, we're gonna try the chicken rings. These look interesting. They're basically their version of chicken nuggets, but White Castle can't do things like everybody else. They gotta be special. So it's a chicken ring instead of a chicken nugget. Like they have onion chips, kind of shaped like a chicken nugget, and then their nut chicken is shaped like a ring. It's kind of opposites from what you expect. So let's try that with their barbecue sauce. And see how that is. You can also get these on a slider. I got the regular chicken, so I didn't think I needed to try that. But let's try this. The chicken reminds me a lot of Burger King. I think it's a little bit better though. I like this sauce. It's a solid barbecue sauce. It's got nice flavor to it. It's got a little bit of a zing. It's bold. It's really good. And then chicken ring. Nice moisture to Just gonna use a little more flavor on the chicken itself. But not bad. And of course, what's a meal? without dessert. We have the 100th birthday limited edition birthday cake on a stick. So I'm gonna try this out. It looks like it's a piece of birthday cake that's been dipped in some kind of white chocolate. It is kind of small, but I'm sure it's good. I also like that it has the little White Castle logo on the stick, that's pretty cool. Let's try it out, bottoms up. That's really good. Cake is nice and moist. The shell on the outside really tastes like a classic uh, birthday cake icing. And of course it's got lots of sprinkles on the inside of the cake and on the outside. It's a really tasty little dessert. So if you want to give yourself just a little treat, this is a solid option. All right, so Matt is gonna try his birthday cake on a stick. You ready, Matt? Minus the stick part. Minus the stick. Yeah, the stick fell out in an awkward manner. Ready to try this? Sure. All right. So these 
using sponge. The icing on the outside is a little bit uh, hard, but a little overly sweet too. You like? Oh, it's you like pretty it? decent. Yeah, I mean, it's not so bad. Not bad for a little thing anyway. Yeah, it gets the job done. Impacts the punch. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with all of the things that I've tried. I think there's a lot of variety and there's a lot of different things that you can have here at White Castle. So if you get a chance and are willing to possibly wait a little while, come check this place out. It is pretty awesome. So what are your overall thoughts on everything you've tried here at White Castle? I definitely go with the assessment that it's a more upscale version of Crystal. So there's a lot more variety. I will say the waffle is probably some one of the best breakfast sandwiches I've had recently. So, and the loaded fries are definitely a step above some of the other loaded fries I've had before. Absolutely. Well, I'll probably give it a solid fast food experience. Excellent. Okay, so we have finished our meal at White Castle. Well, Ooh. kind of finished. I packed up a lot of my food to go all right so matt let's let's talk about our overall thoughts of the experience what did you like what did you not like i didn't like the long ass wait but it was a long ass wait but i will say i think for the experience i thought it was kind of fun would i do that for most places no it's mostly because the fact that we've never been to white castle and it's the first time there's been one in orlando in a very very long time that's why i was willing to do it yeah but once we got in and got the food it was a good experience i enjoyed it mm -hmm. i definitely would say it's better than crystal a more upscale version of crystal yes more upscale the food is better quality they have more variety mm -hmm. and i enjoy like there's not a single thing that i thought was bad like there were a couple things i think could use improvement but everything was enjoyable. True. So I had a good time. And I even liked the little exclusive drink. I thought it was really good. So what was your favorite and least favorite item on the White Castle menu? Since we basically tried the entire menu. Obviously, we didn't try like the impossible slider, the veggie slider of fish. But neither of us are really big into any of those. So that's why I'm not a friend of the fish later, but... Yeah, I wasn't gonna I try didn't, the fish. I had enough already as it was. Yeah, we had we had plenty. So what was your favorite? What was your least favorite? Well, the double slider was definitely one of my favorites. Just because the meat was well moist and it, the bread, like, it wasn't over the top as some places are. Okay, so double slider was your favorite. What was your least favorite? Hmm. I'll definitely go with the chicken slider. I mean, it wasn't too bad, it just, it needed some, some more seasoning on the chicken, in my opinion. Okay. I would say my favorite was the Belgian waffle breakfast slider. I thought that was really good. The, the waffles were solid, but I did think without the creamy element or like the extra flavor of the cheese or the egg, it really lacked something. It was just kind of dry. So the cheese and the egg really helped that sandwich out a lot and the sausage is really good in general so i really enjoyed that my least favorite was the hash browns i thought they were they tasted kind of bitter like they were overcooked and they definitely weren't as good as other fast food hash browns which is disappointing i was hoping they were going to be at least as good if not better than a lot of other fast food hash browns they weren't so like honestly i won't order those again unless for some reason we're going to white castle strictly for breakfast and even then, I'd probably still rather have fries. I think the fries were good. So there you go. That is going to do it for our taste test adventure at White Castle Orlando. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. New videos on this channel four days a week. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos drop. We're still planning on doing more interesting taste test adventures. We're still waiting for when Portillo's is going to open. We'll probably do one when that opens. Probably gonna go to Bucky's at some point too. Oh boy. That'll be a fun one though. I think <laughs> I think it'll be a good time. So we still got a few new places that we need to try. And of course, if you have any suggestions of restaurants or places around the Orlando area you would like to see us go to, leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do. That's gonna do it, and we will see you on the next Taste Test Adventure. Bye! Bye.